presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so, and uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Up everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're getting a great night, folks, and we're kicking into December tomorrow. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself, your whole reality. Everything you believe is your creation. That's a. F I'm on this program, folks. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 364, Nasdaq down 97, S&P's off two and a half. Gold, gold contract down $11.90, trading at 2,055 an ounce. You get silver up 19 cents, 25 dollars 63 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 84. $76.02 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 16 ticks, trading 109.26. The 30-year off a full point, plus two ticks at 116.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up by 767 ticks, trading at 103.535. The euro is at 108. The yen is trading at 148. And the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're still dealing with this ABC structure up, folks. You got a 462. That's the number. Right now, we hit 457 yesterday, 458. And I expect we're going to get it. Why? Particularly here at Tower here today, because you rejected the 453.34 here. And now you're at 454.51. But bottom line, as you can see, this is a sideways to light. Uh, to lower move today, and you're going to have a contraction of volume. That's in your SPY. And we go to the NDX 100. Now, we take a look at the NDX. It's going to get interesting in the NDX because you haven't had a rejection of lower price, number one, and you have an expansion of volume. So we get 36 million shares traded. You're down two bucks, $2.98 actually. And now you're going into, yeah, here we go, we gapped higher. You're going into the gap. So it's going to get into the top of the gap. So how we come into this close is going to be a huge deal because the top of the gap, folks, is 386.26. Now, we've hit 385.82. Now, what a rejection would be is that, number one, you know, we're going to have lighter volume because that's 67 million. But what we'd, what we'd also need is that you'd need the Qs to go up like another point to something. You know, uh, it's not a rejection right now. Uh, and it's coming into that. It does have light of volume, but if it basically, if the price gets into it, then what will be, there'll be some divergence out here because what you, what you will have, that is one huge gap that's open. There's no two ways about that. Notes and bonds. Take a look at the note and bond market, what you have inside the note and bond market. You're pulling back 14 ticks today, inside, 17 ticks inside the 10. You get 2 million contracts traded, but guess what? That's light contract volume How compared to how we make, made, made this run. So what you're doing, let me pull this here so you can see there's a couple of different things. Last few days, we had 3.7 million contracts. Now that price point there is the 109.13. And right now we're at 
We go up a little bit higher, what it's going into right now, and that's still 2.9 million. So we're only at 2 million and 900,000 shot. So bottom line, you know, you got a huge amount of support right here. You're pulling back with life volume, which would make sense. You know, can't go up forever. You can't get on forever either. We go into the uh, gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold contract out here. It's going to be the same kind of setup. Gold is actually a sideways move out here today more than anything. So you got, you're down 12 bucks. You got 139,000 contracts. And when you see this, man, this is crazy. Because this is the same type of deal. These, these one all, all one higher price. You're coming into 139 is coming into 190,000 and 198,000. Okay, so bottom line is that you're pulling back with light volume. And then we go, now this is the intriguing one to me. Well, they both, the node spawns and the dollar. So the dollar's got a counter trend move happening. And now that, this is, this is, a, that's wide price spread. So you, you know, you, you basically, let's see what kind of retracement we made on this one. So from the lows to the highs, oh, look at that. That's amazing, actually. You gotta love Fibonacci, man. This is crazy. So look at this. From the low of July to the high of September to the low of yesterday, it was exactly a 0.618. Now, the cool thing about a 0.618, folks, okay, is that a 0.618 says you don't break the highs that were generated out here two or three months ago. So we'll see where this thing wants to bounce. Let me do this another way. We'll do it this way, and then I'll put a 0.382 on the bounce and see what we get there. So a 0.382 in the bounce is saying you can do a 104, like 300. That's and that would that would make sense because this is where the this will be broke down in a monster way. That's where that huge bar is. So we'll see where that shakes out. Shopify. We got a couple tigers that want to take a look at Shopify. Oh, I know. Dow Industrials. We've got to do the Dow first. Dow Industrials, folks, finished an ABC structure up, was 35,784. You're at 35,000. 797 right now. That being said, guess what? Um, my take is that number one, the S&Ps are going to finish this ABC structure up. If the S&Ps finish the ABC structure up. You have Microsoft that's in an ABC structure up. That tells me that the Dow Industrial is going to go for all-time highs. Now let's go to Shopify. So we take a look at Shopify, and we have a Shopify. One of the targets has this from one of these lows, which is awesome. You're at 72. Now this is an ABC structure up to 80. So, and, and the way to trade Shopify, to trade a, the way to trade equities, folks, okay, when you're in winning positions, too, particularly if they're not coming out with earnings, is, you know, you, you, you don't have to just sell it. In this case, you got an ABC structure at 80. What you can do is you put a stop in, and you're just raising that stop every day, and you almost let the market stop you out. You know, because you can see this four days ago, that was Monday. It took the B point out, took it out with volume. It's a small ABC. 80, 80 bucks is the number, man. So I'd stay right where you are. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, 361. Nasdaq's down 100. S&P's down three. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's go into the Dow Industrials and take a look at the uh, strength out here that uh, pushes this uh, indice uh, up today because, you know, there's, there's no doubt. Yeah? The Dow is up uh, 1%, and then you get the, the rest of the well, Nasdaq's down 7 tenths of 1%. So inside that Dow out there today, folks, you get uh, Salesforce putting 125 positive points. You get uh, United Health 104, Boeing 35, Travel is 21. Taken away from it, you got Microsoft, minus 10, that's it. Uh, Chevron, minus 6, nothing heavy, man. And then inside the NDX 100, Strength versus weakness out here. What you have is that you got Pindor Duo is up 2.6 percent. Is that no Dollar Tree's up two? You got uh, Workday up two, and Gilead's up uh, 1.8. Taken away from it, the electric car make a loosence down four. You got uh, Nvidia is off three, and you got uh, Warner Brother uh, off three. Warner Brother's a trip, man. Warner Brother like either goes up or down three or four percent every day. It seems like. Let me pull this up. Yeah, it's just. Highly volatile, there's no doubt about that. We take a look at some of the other high volume equities out here. This is what you have inside the high volume equities. You got uh, Tesla's off four. Uh, you got, uh, let's see. Yeah, NVIDIA's down 14. That's a, that's a number, no doubt about that. We go to the GDX. If you haven't test driven the gold report, folks, now the time's to do it. Get over there, a TFNN. You see it right on the front page under featured content, test drive it. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Bottom line, as you can see, you know, these goals are not only moving, but you can see the GDX, we took out the whole consolidation with conviction. And what conviction means, folks, is wide price spread accelerated volume. And that's inside the XAU, that's inside the HUI, that's inside the GDX, that's inside the contract itself. Now let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Moore, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at odd-oracle.com. That's odd-oracle.com. And I can tell you, time just goes so quick, it's hard to believe. It feels like I was just speaking with Tim. Well, I was, because I called him a few hours ago. <laughs> but I'm talking about on the air. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? Well, I sent you a bunch of charts. I don't know if we'll be able to. You, get cer them you all. certainly did. I like um, it, man. No. <laughs> awesome, so, man. Okay, so which shot do you want to start with? Well, it, you know, we got the equities and we got the gold. So we whatever you want to do, way. man. 
Pardon? Tell, just tell me which shot to start with. Should I start with one? Uh, yeah, just start with one. Okay. Uh, um, yep. So anyhow, uh, chart one, this is kind of a, you always got to look at the bigger picture and you work backwards. Yes. So you got to look at, you know, what the bigger picture is doing. And uh, anyhow, the bottom window is the VIX. Yes. And when I did this chart, it was 13.29. And anything below 17, usually you're okay. When the market, when the VIX starts to get above 17, that's when uh, ugly things can happen. And uh, so the VIX, relatively speaking, is in a safe area. You know, you can have pullbacks, but not nothing really significant. Yes. And the uh, next window higher is the SPX VIX ratio. Okay. And so that's a ratio. So it, it uh uh, moves up and down with the S and P. So, if that ratio is rising, that's usually a, a good sign. But if you got the S and P's going up, and you got that ratio going down, which off to the far, uh, far left of the chart from uh, 2018 yep. all the way to 2020, I, I, po I pointed out times when the uh, S and P's were making higher highs, and this ratio was making lower highs. That's pretty amazing. And every time it. Pardon? No, it's just amazing. You know, as you're looking at this chart, folks, Tim, you can see the five red arrows, man. Pretty amazing. I know. Cool. Go ahead. Yeah, so it's it's really uh, uh, picked out, you know, even that COVID crash, you know, the market was going up, I think it was in March 2020. Yes. And this ratio was going, going way down. It's really obvious uh, how that ratio worked. And even though uh, there was, you know, that kicked off the news and obviously the market crashed. And back in 2021, late 2021, early 2022, you got the ratio, or the SPs making higher highs, you got the ratio of making lower highs. And so now you get over the current places, you got uh, the SPs basically testing the July highs right now. And you got the ratio making higher highs. Right. Well, it's something similar happened back in April, May of this year. You got the. Uh, the, the S and P's were kind of testing its previous highs. Yes, uh, I think around forty one, forty two hundred, and that ratio is breaking out to new highs. You can have little pullbacks, but uh, in general, this is bullish. So the intermediate term on the bigger time frames so far is bullish, okay. according to the VIX below seventeen and the SPX VIX ratio. So, but we did get out yesterday. Uh, um, as yes. far as uh, my trading is, it just uh, I got out. And we'll show you the reason why I got out. Okay. But anyhow, the bigger trend up. Um, I guess if you're long, you can, you know it, it, the odds point to that at some point we're going to make a higher high than where we are right now. Uh, but you may have to suffer through some sort of a pullback before that next higher high comes. Yes. Uh, so uh, so, so the just to re reiterate, up. folks, okay, because yeah. you've been following Tim and myself. So Tim got in really close to these lows. They got out yesterday before the close, okay, and he made over 10, and, was it 10.4% 10, 10, 10. or something, Tim, right? Was it, was yeah, it monster? 10.5 to it was uh, a monster 10 and a half percent. Number. Yeah, monster number. Okay, so, so should we go to the next shot? I didn't get near the low. If you go back and look, March or October 27th was a low, and that's the day I went long on the close. I love, that's so, right, that Friday. That's right. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm and the market uh, gapped up the next yep. day and, and uh, just yep. kind of kept going. That's right. There's always, as uh, far as uh, indicators go, if you get one indicator, that's good. If you can get two indicators, yes. that's even better to match what you're trying to do. So you, you want to, you know, if you got an indicator that's 80% right, and you got another indicator that's 80% right, but they're not related at all, then that increases your odds of success. Yes. So on on, on page or chart two, okay, I got another chart. Now, what's, what's actually, cool here, folks, this, uh, what, what, what's happening here is you've been following us, right? You know, you got the all the information about when we were coming into lows. Now what you're going to be getting done is you're going to get information coming into highs, which is so cool because that's when you know that you have an amazing system that you can go both ways, okay? That, that's, that's what it comes down to because we know. Anyway, go, go ahead with the next chart, Tim. Thank you. All right. I, I'm on page or chart two. I got two uh, light blue indicators. Yes. Or light to uh, light blue uh, shaded areas, and the bottom window is just the SPY. The next window higher is the VIX 
uh, ra- uh, it says BVIX to BV- or VIX to BVIX ratio. Okay. So it's the VIX and the VIX of the VIX. So, well, what's the VIX? VIX is actually measures the premiums of options uh, on the um, S and P's. So when the VIX goes up, that means the option premiums are going up. So what's the VIX? Well, the VIX anticipates the rising of the VIX. Or the BVIX anticipates, uh, anticipates the rise of the VIX. <laughs> so uh, I hear the music. That's so, cool. Just stay, just I don't want to get too complicated here. No, no, it's cool, man. It, it, you're doing great. Just stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 332. Nasdaq's down 116. S&P's a 7.5. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow up uh, 333, NASDAQ up, uh, NASDAQ down uh, 111, S&P's off 7. We're talking about it, managed to Tim Wood. And I have the second chart up here, Tim. Right. Well, this, uh, the middle window is the... Uh VIX to VVIX ratio, uh -huh. and normally when it's trending down, the market's trending up, and uh, pretty much the S and P's are actually uh, uh, testing its uh, August or late July or August highs. It's kind of actually moving sideways here. And uh, the point I was trying to make: this ratio in general is making lower lows as the S and P's are basically testing its previous highs. Um, didn't quite draw this chart right. 
But in general, it's another uh, intermediate term bullish sign. You can have short term pullbacks here, but this this other this other ratio gives another bullish bigger picture. So uh, anyhow, let's flip to chart three. I think this that was. I think you just went over chart three. Okay, except chart three says at the top, VIX slash VVIX ratio. Is that chart three? Uh, the top, uh, yeah. VVIX to VVX ratio. A spy versus VVIX. A T. All right, I must get the charts to scoot up. What, what do you got for chart three? Uh, just tell me what, what chart three says at the top. I can find it. I, what, um, but chart three is just the VIX. Yeah. So wherever the VIX is, just. Uh, okay. It'd be the, the just a chart of the VIX on the top, very top left. Okay, I think that was chart two. Okay. All right, did I, give, did I mess them up? So the chart goes back to mid 2022. I kind of what happens, Tim, when I'm on here, I, the, the 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 screens away in front of me, so I have a hard time seeing the smaller print. Yeah. <laughs> It's called getting old, Tom. Yeah, I, well, I'm blind in one <laughs> yeah, eye. So. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, let, let's do this. Let, let's go. Uh, we got to get people on the same page here. Let's go to the right. chart that says at the top, SPY, VIX, VVIX ratio, and then the daily VIX and the VIX higher lows. The, is that the one we? Is that the one you just did? Yeah, that's one we just did. Okay, that's all right then. Let's um, go to the next one. One second. But how about chart four? That, see, what's chart four say? That's the TLT VIX, VVIX. Right. Okay. All right. We'll go to that. Okay. Let's cool. Go to that Thank one. you. Okay. All right. The the point I was trying to make, basically, I was trying to confirm that the bigger trend is up, which is all those other charts. Yes. And the reason why I got out yesterday is because of this TLT VVIX ratio. Right. And that's the reason why I got out yesterday. Right. So what I'm saying is the bigger trend is up, the short-term trend at best is sideways, and probably going to see a pullback in the coming days. And the reason why I got out yesterday is because of the TLT VVIX ratio. Yeah, this is like and, an early warning. I kind of like it. I dig that. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. So anyhow, back in July, the market was going up yeah. and uh, making higher highs, and this ratio is making lower highs. And if you remember, on the radio, we got you know I used to say that we got out in July. No, at that I high, remember this well, right, man. Right yeah, it. big time. Yeah, and I, I showed you that ratio, and that's the reason why I got out in that ratio. Yes. And also, I said going into the October twenty seventh low. Yep. Um, this is one of the reasons why I got back in the market because this ratio is going making higher lows while the SP was making lower lows. Right. Right. And so now you got the ratio or you got the SP is kind of going sideways up a little bit. Yeah. More or less sideways, and this ratio is going right through the floor. Right. I mean, it's it, it was, gone, yeah. gone straight down. Yeah. So that's a bearish divergence. That's one of the reasons why I nice. got out of the market. I get it. And yep. sometimes, uh, you know, you can you can go these diversions can last several days even a couple of weeks if you look at the july high most of july was showing a diversions so i kind of just waited and they got lucky got close to the highs but uh for now you know the market upside is just having a lot of trouble and we're also running into the july highs there so yes. we're not seeing a sign of strength through those highs and we got this ratio TLT VIX ratio going straight down while the S&Ps are kind of holding up the highs. So to me, that's a bearish sign. So what it's going to do, well, my opinion, flip to chart five. Okay. And uh, this is the same thing, but the chart's kind of blowing up. Yep. If you look at the bottom window there, you can kind of see the versions. The S&P's been going sideways. Yes. Since it looks like about November 20th, sideways maybe up a little bit. Since November 20th, and if you look at at that ratio, the ratio made a high around November 20th, and since then it's been trending down. And uh, I did a Fibonacci relationship from the October low up to the the recent high, and uh, a, a 21 or 38.2 percent retracement comes exactly where that gap is, and that gap is right around that 444 area. I think that's probably where we're going to go. So it's only a 38.2 percent retracement. There's no guarantee we'll get there. I'm not a, 
I don't have a crystal ball in front of me. I don't really have enough evidence to go short. Right. And I may not go short because, um, you know, the market doesn't have to go down. No, uh, for sure. You know, it could, it just could go sideways. And and, and I just what put it, up this, this so. As you're watching Tiger TV, folks, you can see what Tim's talking about. I mean, it's amazing that that gap is right at 38%, man. I mean, just like right on. I, and it's yeah, a big gap. Right so smack on it. It's, it's a, and it's, it is a big gap, folks, okay? So the real bottom line is that what's interesting, Tim, today is that, you know, the NASDAQ's getting hit. And the, the gap inside of the NASDAQ, I mean, it's going right after it right now. You know, this is the NDX 100, rather. Um, you know, that's off 128 points. And that gap actually starts at uh, uh, 15,726, uh, and we actually hit 15,825. Uh, yeah, so it's still 100 so, points off of this. But, but I, we get the gist. I, this is really cool, man. Okay. So, yeah, so get the gist. And a lot of times, you know, the NASDAQ kind of leads the S&P. It in does. In bull markets, absolutely. the NASDAQ will outperform the S&P. Yep. And, you know, and absolutely. So, uh, yep. so Pretty that, cool. That, yeah, that may or may not happen, but that, you know, at, at right now, I think that's a logical conclusion is that yes. we may get that pullback. And, and now how to identify that pullback as we'll go on the shows, you know, in the next week or two or whatever, right. wherever this pullback starts, maybe it won't get there, maybe it will. But if it does get there, You'll have to have panic in the ticks and trend. We'll discuss that when we get that pullback. If right. We need to get that pullback. And we'll help identify, you know, through the put call ratios. And actually, the trend is my favorite tool as far as panic totally. is concerned. But, and, um, and, you know, folks, but, okay, if you, if you missed the workshop that Tim did, it was an amazing workshop about identifying, you know, the lows that were out there, um, you know, <laughs> Uh, he went through all of these, uh, so it's really cool, man. Because you know what's going to be amazing, Tim, is that if we only get a point, point three eight two pullback, and you have panic, it's like amazing when you think about it, right? But that's what's happened in the last couple pullbacks. They think it's the end of the world, man. Do you know what I mean? And the panic came in pretty quick. It seems like it came in pretty quick, you know? Yep, yep, it yeah. did. Um, so we're, hey, we're going to have some music here in about... We are. Seconds, Just stay right so. there. We're going to be coming right back, folks. We're going to we get uh, three more charts to go through. Uh, Dow right now uh, up 369. Nasdaq's uh, down 104. S&Ps are off three and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and problem on us. And don't forget, folks, you get hold of Tim any trading day at ord, O-R-D hyphen oracle.com. That's ord hyphen oracle.com. We're on the TLT uh, VVIX chart, Tim. All right, we're, we're kind of done with that. That's what okay. may develop in the coming days. So that's what, um, anyhow, that's a possibility. So okay, so on. now I got the, uh, oh, good. Okay, let's have some fun here. We got the uh, RSI with the GDX, and uh, here we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, we presented this chart on the uh, your program before. Yes. Back in August 23rd, I, uh, this chart's actually pretty good. It, it, but yeah, I wanted to go through it one more time. But the blue lines on the chart above uh, are the times when the RSI follows RSI of the bullish percent index for the Gold Miners Index slash GDX um, ratio. When the RSI falls below 30 and closes above 30, yes, are uh, when when are triggered buy signals for this for this method, and it works pretty well. But I wanted to point out back on August 23rd. That ratio, or the RSI of this ratio, fell below 30, closed above 30, which is a buy signal. Then right after it, went black below 30 again and triggered another buy signal on October 4th. Okay. So, uh, so the po the point was, is uh, very unusual to get a double buy signal. Actually, the last time that happened was in 2022. Something similar that happened. So, you know, the signal was was accurate. But it gave another bicycle right after it. Yes. So you had to you had to set through some pain before you got another bicycle. So it called a low in August and it called another low in October. The October low well, obviously was the better one to catch because um, you know it screamed down and screamed right back up. Right. So anyhow, I just want to point that out. But it is on a bicycle now. Uh, we've got the trend going up. These signals sometimes last a year, sometimes longer. Uh, so it flipped the uh, uh, chart number seven. Okay. There and we go. This is kind of where we are right now. So the bigger trend is up. Uh, you can see the August low came in around 28 or so. And, yes. And the October low comes in 26 or so, 25, something in there. But the whole pattern uh, is, in my opinion, the head and shoulders bottom. The head was the October low. The uh, the August low was the right left shoulder. Yes. And the right shoulder was the November low. And you had to sign a sign of strength through that neckline, which is that blue line right there. So now you have support at uh, 30 because you jumped the neckline. Now that becomes support. Doesn't have to pull back down to that neckline, but it could. And, and, and that's, uh, that that when we were talking this, Tim, that we we did this on Tuesday, correct? They had jumped, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think right. Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Wide was price spread, week, market just took accelerated a volume. was huge volume, too, man. I mean, we ended up with 40, yeah, 41 million shares, folks. It blew away every one of those swing points, too. 38 was the biggest swing point, and 21. So pretty cool, man. Okay, go ahead. That's really, and yeah. you know, you know what yeah, you want to so. pick up out of this, folks, which Tim is saying, is that when you do break these, you have to break them with a the sign of strength so your probability goes higher. Would that be correct, Tim? Yeah. Yep, yep you yep. are correct. So, yeah, you, you, you busted that resistance zone at 30. You know, this was like the fourth or fifth time up at yes. that 30. So to get through it, 
you can't just go up there and test it with a lighter volume because it ain't going to go through it. You, right. You jump to it with a really a slap in the face to get through it. So now that becomes support. Yep. And the, and the bottom two windows actually, I, um, the bottom window is the uh, up down volume percent with an eighteen day average. Okay. And uh, I deleted one of those lines at minus ten, but anyhow, when both those indicators are above minus ten you got an uptrend going in the market. And all that blue stuff on the chart is when that indicator, both indicators are above minus 10. I see. And okay. When the indicator is below minus 10 on both of them, that's when all the pink areas are in there. Interesting. So okay. anyhow, you, you got above minus 10 on both indicators back in, you know, looks like right around Thanksgiving time frame. Yes. You know, right. And uh, so it, it, it got a gap up there. Things turn green. And so you got another chance to get through that that um, resistance of 30, which it did. And so far we're in the, the green area, but the blue area. And so, in my opinion, you know, as long as those two indicators hold above minus 10, the uptrend should continue. You know, uh, pretty it's cool. kind of pulling back now. It kind of curled over. I think it's just a, a normal consolidation. I don't think right. Uh, we're going to pull back much. I guess at worst case we may pull back at 30. But, uh, you know, sometimes when these rallies go, they don't let you in. Particularly uh, so, in the gold market, Tim, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially in the bull market. Yeah. So on a short-term basis, intermediate term basis, look really good. What the next chart Okay, I have really the next one up. Yep, here Let's we go. to that one. Okay, I have it up. All right, this this chart. Now, this defines the bigger trend. It doesn't, it doesn't attempt to make the... Uh, to, Every wiggle in the market just gets you along. Uh, 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 gets, it gets you along after the lows and gets you out after the tops. Yes, but it gets you in the main trend. Right. So you want this chart in your favor, and so it, it gave a sell signal back in 2012, and it stayed short or stayed out of the market all the way into 2016 low. Got you in a little bit late, but got you in, kept you in for 2016 to 2018. Got you out in that sideways kind of consolidation. Okay. Got you back in at 2019, which is the next blue line. Yep. Uh, kept you in for another year and a half and got you out in, uh, looks like about 2000, January 2021. You got out and pretty much you've been out since 2021. And now you're right at that mid Bollinger band to get a signal. You need a close above the mid Bollinger band on both of them. Okay. So, so all those, the, the blue and red lines are time when both those indicators close above the mid Bollinger Band. That's the blue line. When it closes below the mid Bollinger Band, that's the red line. So this mark, this one picks out the trend. And most of these trends, you know, you get trends from 2012, 2016, that's four years. Most of these trends are at least a year and a half. And, and it got you out in 2021, just about ready to get you back in 2000. And you know maybe this year or first part of next year, but once it gets it gets long, it's it stays long for you know years. No, which is years, which is so cool, man. Years. No, I, I get it. It's almost like a point and figure deal, folks. Point and figure, you know, is, is a good system, but it gets you in later, gets you out later. But it's a very accurate type of system. Interesting, man. Yeah, because hey, listen, when we look at the is it, you know, the GDX in general, it's only at 30 and the high was 66. So, I mean, it's like, OK, you know, this is you well, get, well, what I'm thinking is, you know, I, I wish I had this going back further, but it's on GDX. So but I like to see it back to you know, like 1980. I think we're in a time frame uh, where this chart could turn up because we've been going, according to this chart, momentum and the up, up, down volume and advanced line indicators have been, in general, weak all the way since 2021. Yes. So, in general, you had a hard time making money over the last three years. Yep. And gold stocks, they really didn't have them perform. Absolutely. Once these, once these things turn up, uh, it could be like a good, uh, like 2000. Remember back 2000? Oh, listen, I, 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 there's no doubt, folks. And what ends up happening, you know, the longer that you build cars, folks, the higher that you can go. And that's what uh, Tim is saying, that... This is a three-year deal that we're going through. Well, listen, Tim, it's always a pleasure, man. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and we look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday. All right, thank you. Thanks, Love man. You. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter Market Insights firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now are 480, Nasdaq's down 45, S&Ps are up 12 and a half. And they just goosed this market, folks, in a huge way. The NDX just basically, basically went up 100 points. So only down 54 right now. The, the SPY went from negative to positive. Bottom line, market wants higher price, folks. Okay, so, uh, you know, and that was without the dollar even moving, which is pretty amazing, actually. So it's amazing that we're not down with that dollar of 784 ticks. And you get notes and bonds down also. But bottom line, guess what? Once you get momentum going, this market wants higher price. When you do look at the Dow Industrials right now, you're only 1,050 points away from the all-time high. I was talking about the ABC structure. It did get finished in the Dow. That being said, that's a one-to-one -one ABC structure. I suspect that the you know, all-time highs in the Dow are there. Um, you want to keep your eye on the SPY, the 462 level. You know, Normally what ends up happening is that when you have these ABC structures, we have two out of the three. It wasn't in the NASDAQ, but it wasn't in the Dow, it wasn't in the S&P. What tends to happen is that the Dow already hit it. The S&P is going to be next. We'll see how the... Um, NASDAQ uh, sets up. In fact, hold it one second. No, because you know the NASDAQ, remember we did this yesterday. The NASDAQ's on an ABC structure. No, it's, it's the SPY actually. I gotta do this. The SPY, I gotta do this quick. The SPY's on an ABC structure up on a weekly. Oh no, a monthly. It already blew away this, this point. And this is gonna be a monster. One second. This is a sleeper, man. Okay, did we get? That's. 
1.4. Yeah, we're not to the high yet. That's what's going on. We haven't hit the high, but what we're doing is this. On a monthly basis, you are actually pushing into that swing with more volume. That's how it, let me get those cues fast here, one second. Come on, where are you? Okay, I'll do those cues, folks, in the update. All right, remember, folks, the bank can claw you hot out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks.